Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a navigation form for your database. So using the students database that we've been creating over the past few weeks, just to recap what we've got in this, we've got three tables, courses, school, and students. And then we've done a few queries, averages, school results, and all records and a couple of forms school and student and then school results parameter query for that gives you the result of that school whatever the number is and then there's all, all the results so that's all the stuff we've been doing so far so I typed in the wrong number for that one but it doesn't matter now what we want to do in this little video is create a management form, a navigational form if you like, that will allow you to access these features fairly quickly. So to do that I'm going to create a blank form in design. Now I don't want anything attached to this form in terms of tables etc etc because I'm going to use these controls and I'm going to use these buttons here, command button to open up one of these forms. So first of all, form operation, open form. When I do that, navigate, it gives me the two forms, which are these two forms, school, and then I follow the wizard through and open, put school form in there. Open school form, next, finish, and then do another one for the students form doesn't matter about the size of this because I'm going to fix that at the end. But form operations, open form again, same process. Pick the students form, open students form, and then just finish like so. So that's how you open that. And if I have a quick look at this, I click on that, it shows me that form. Now, obviously, on this form, I can close this. Or I can put a button on here that will close it or go back to the main menu, which is what I'm going to save this file as, or this form, should I say. So I'll save it now. Save main menu. So that's the main menu. And then on the form, this form, I'm going to design and put a button over here to get myself back to that form. So form operations, open form, main menu, open form, main menu. So you're just creating navigational, I could just finish that there, a navigational mechanism to go from one form to another. But I'm going to also put a close button there, close form, form operations, close form and then you've got a little button like that which I'll leave it on that one actually and just finish it so you get that little close button there and if I just save this and have a look you can see that those both basically do the same thing in this example so far close back to this now if I go into design I've got a couple of reports I want to do so another command button that's just gonna open a report Report operations, preview report. So you can send it, print it, open it, but preview. Uh, all school results I'll go for. Next. All schools. And then finish. And then I'll do another one, which is for an individual school. It asks me for the school ID. So preview report, not all, that one, school report, preview report, school, I'll just put school, and then finish. Now you can see these are all sitting higgledy-piggledy, so what you can do is you can just highlight them and go to arrange and then stacked or tabular, let's do stacked, and then we could do the same for this one, just to put them nice and neat, like so, and then you can move them around as a pair like so, you just click on them and just move them to wherever you want. 
And in terms of form design, you've got some other features here. Labels are A, B. If you want to do a label, you can put a label on there to put some descriptions. That's just a box. Drop this down. You've got a line control. So you can, you can make this form look like whatever you want it to look like. But at the moment, it's just a navigational form. It's going to open up either a report or a form. So if I save this and have a look. So all schools. There's all the schools. Close that. And then this school here, enter school. So I need to type in a name, not a number. So a Buttershaw. And it shows me the results for Buttershaw. And there's your navigational form. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.